Hello and welcome to the Virtual Couch. Um, well, I guess it's the Virtual Cancer Cancer Couch. Um, seeing after my first video. Um, so yeah, this is like I said. I'm going to try and do a weekly update if if it's possible. Um, some of you already know a lot of what I will, will say. Um, as you've seen updates or got texts from me or whatever, but I guess this video is also a way of sharing with a wider audience my my fight and uh, and how I'm going. So where we are is um, it's the 15th Friday, the 15th of July, and um, I've just been home for a few days. I came home on Wednesday, so two days ago. Um, from a five-day stay in hospital for my first uh, cycle of chemotherapy, um, and as you can see, I'm I'm still here, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it was um, it was it was a difficult time, um, and I'm still recovering. In the next week, um, basically, my immune system's effectively going to reboot, so I have to be very um, careful of um, and I, I have to really look after myself eat well um, and uh, try and avoid infection and monitor my temperature and yeah be very very vigilant um, so how am I well I'm very tired um, I'm not sleeping that great it's to do with some of the medication that I'm taking um, which gradually, which is like a, a form of steroids, which is part of the treatment. So they're weaning, they're gradually weaning me off that. So hopefully as the days go on, I will actually improve. Um, the other good news that I do have from my time in hospital is um, they performed a bone marrow uh, biopsy and tested to see if the cancer had spread anywhere else. And um, small victory that came back uh, negative. So, so the cancer is basically limited to a, a lesion on my lung and a mass on my chest, on the left chest. And the hematology team seem uh, confident that the treatment plan or regimen that I'm going through over the next 18 weeks um, will um, will attack the, uh, both those um, sources of cancer. Um, every two weeks, after every two cycles of treatment, um, they do a you know a detailed scan to see the effectiveness and, and the activity of the um, cells um, and the, and the um, tumor, and if necessary, they adjust the treatment. So. At this stage, um, every day is a battle. Every day I have to be positive. Um, but I'm home and um, reasonably um, able still, <coughs> although I am feeling a little bit, bit of a cough. Um, so I hope, hopefully um, I, my immune system can reboot quick and, and, and fight. Um, I just have to say that the the support from from family, from friends, from work colleagues, ex-work colleagues over these past weeks and days, um, and even from strangers, um, people I don't know on the internet, um, uh, have just just been just been incredible. I I, I can't even describe to you what um, a simple uh, message um, means to me um, at any moment. It it really does build me up um, and gives me strength to to keep fighting um, and keep positive. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Um, there's lots to talk about. I could probably waffle on for for ages about my experiences and whatever, but. Um, this being the virtual couch, rather than just being a talking head, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I do like to show off my chest. So, um, well, I've got a little bit of a surprise for those of you who haven't seen it before, but it's part of my treatment. 
um, to make it a bit better, they've inserted what they call a Hickman line into me. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll show my USB ports off. So this is what I'm, this is what I've got inside me. So basically, uh, yeah, this goes into an open wound in my chest, sort of inserted through my neck. That that'll that'll sort of come out um, and heal up, and it goes right, pretty much goes right in right inside me. So that's how they deliver the the chemotherapy, but also they can deliver everything, saline, they can deliver, they can actually give blood if I need it, um, and even better, they, they, they can take blood samples, um, and it means no more sort of, you know, being poked in the veins and all that sort of stuff, and it wasn't a pleasant procedure to go through, um, and it's, it's uncomfortable, but I'll get used to it. Um, the dressing needs to be changed every every week and I have to be very mindful of infection and things like that but um, that's part of who I am now and it will be until I finish my treatment and beat it um, yeah so so this is that's my update um, oh, of course yeah the other thing I need to sort of mention is the infamous and famous kidney stone which took me into hospital in the first place well yeah that's still there and the, the J stent, which is holding my ureter open so my kidney can still flush around the obstruction. Um, well, that's a bad source of infection, especially when my immune, immune system is down. So they pretty much, pretty much want uh, that out as soon as possible. So they've got to time that between when my immune system is recovered enough for a, 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 another operation. And... Um, also before the next cycle of chemotherapy so I don't quite get three weeks break between hospital um, and I'll have to go back in for at least a day or two to have that operation and for them to attempt to remove the kidney stone and um, the plastic stent in, in there so yeah so, so still some adventures of, uh, of hospital I mean I managed to avoid hospital for 44 years other than being born in one and uh, I'm no doubt going to get my feel of it for the next few months but uh, that's the way it is and um, yeah there's lots of other stuff um, my battle is not just a physical and health uh, battle against the cancer but um, there's another battle going on for my uh, my I guess my my mental and uh, and uh, emotional well-being as well and that's been played out over years I mean um, and I'm fighting that battle too with uh, yeah starting that fight of that battle so out of all of this I'm looking at this cancer as as it's a fight it's it's a it's scary as hell but you know I've got to own this and um, I've got to come out of this not just healthy in body but I've got to come out this as a different person as stronger and confident and and really appreciating life and living everything to the potential um, and yeah and that's that's the every day that's what I'm telling myself um, I'm writing a, a bucket list a plan a, things I want to do when I'm better uh, people I want to see places I want to go you know dreams hopes I don't think I've done that for years and that's part of the problem um, on that side of my life and or I've just been chasing the, the, the wrong dream um, and knowing that I'm doing that but persisting so that's another thing I need to talk about when I do get some counselling. Anyway I've really waffled on it's almost 10 minutes so no doubt most of you have stopped watching but um, this is also a record for me um, when I look back in the future of my own progress um, as well as all of the written stuff that I'm doing um, yeah so this is the virtual couch Jason uh, on the 15th of July 2016 signing off for now and uh, I'll talk to you again soon